Welcome back, everybody. Today, I want to talk to you all about a question I get asked very frequently, uh, and that is whether or not I want to trade up from my 2017 STI to the 2018 STI that's going to be coming out shortly uh, later on this year. Whether or not I want the new STI uh, or whether I want to stay with my current STI. So uh, let's get started. All right, so this is a hot topic lately, and uh, since Subaru has released their specifications on what the changes are going to be on the new upcoming WRX and STI models, a lot of people uh, that you know purchased any you know 2016-2017 model STIs, they're either questioning whether or not they should have waited and gotten the 2018 STI, uh, or they're uh, really thinking about moving up to the new models. So let's talk about some of the changes that are happening in the 2018 STI. On the 2018 STIs, they're changing the wheel and tire package, so you're gonna be getting standard 19-inch wheels, and the tire width is the same, but the wheels are uh, larger, and they look uh, a bit different than the ones that uh, come on the models today. Um, they're also coming with uh, updated front fascia. Uh, some people are uh, some people have mixed feelings about that. I personally am not a fan of the new bumper. Um, there's going to be an upgraded interior. There's going to be an upgraded interior. Uh, some more uh, sound deadening materials, kind of. Uh, lesser um, hard touch materials, hard plastic in the inside. Uh, they're trying to bring up the quality of the interior. Um, the car, the STI will also be coming with larger Brembo brakes up front. So there's gonna be standard six pot, six piston Brembo brakes uh, with a, like a neon yellow, you know, finish um, to make it stand out a bit more. Uh, the rear, uh, brake caliper is about the same size, I believe, as they are on the current STI. Now, here's a huge thing that a lot of Subaru enthusiasts have been waiting for Subaru to offer on their WRX and definitely their STI models, and that is Recaro seats. Finally get Recaro seats on the STI, which is, it's about time, um, it's great news, and uh, I'm a bit excited. I'm pretty excited about that. So aside from that, uh, I believe the center differential is now fully electronically controlled. So will I be getting a 2018 STI? Short answer is no. I just bought my 2017 STI a few months ago. I'm in love with the car and I personally don't see a big enough change in the new models for me to jump out of my current car and into the new STI. I just, I really don't. Um, so let's talk about it. You get upgraded Recaro seats. Now, yes, they are Recaro seats, but from what I have seen, uh, I have not seen in person, but from what I've seen from footage and uh, other people attending auto shows, the Recaro seats really are not that much different than the current seats we have in the 27, in the 2015 and up STIs. The bolstering is a little bit thicker, but I really can't see a big enough change for me to you know, justify wanting to move up to a 2018 STI. So there's one. Next thing is the brakes. Now, the brakes are a really cool option. You get six pot Brembo brakes up front. Very cool. Um, I think it's an awesome idea. Uh, I'm glad they're doing it going forward. Hopefully they keep up with that, you know, with the bigger brakes uh, on future, you know, generations of the STI. But I still can't see a reason for me to want to move up to the newer STI models. I have four pot Brembo brakes up front and two pot in the rear. These brakes 
that I have for how I use the car for are plenty powerful. I mean, I may or may not see one or two track days in my life uh, in this car. And on the road, there's it just handles perfectly. Like the I don't think I will see a difference in performance from this from the larger brakes up front in the new STI models than I will in the current STI that I have. I won't be pushing it to the limits that you would generally see on a track uh, for me to you know really want those new brakes. Yes, it's cool. Sure, if I was you know just gonna get into a 2018 STI awesome you know i'd be super excited about it but i just can't justify jumping into the 2018 sti because of that um i just i'm not going to get use out of it so i'm i'm not too upset about that really uh, the next thing the wheels um a lot of people have mixed feelings about the wheels uh being 19 inch wheels uh all around on the new stis personally i'm not a fan of the the, the way it looks it i think they're a little too large on these models i think it just kind of i i don't i just don't i don't think it it matches the sti's personality and again this is my this is my personal opinion um some people may love it uh, some other people might hate it um i have absolutely no problems with the wheels that i have on the car right now the stock wheels uh the stock base wheels i actually love them i don't think i've ever like immediately fell in love with stock wheels on any car and some people might think hey yeah, this is your car of course you're gonna love it but you know the last sti i had hated the stock wheels i really did i love the car but i hated the wheels these wheels i love them so i don't really that's another reason that i i don't care for moving into the S, the new sti so so there's three things right there that we've covered we got the seats we have the new brakes and we have the new wheels um the sound deadening and the updating of the the uh, quality of the materials on the inside, yeah, it's cool. Um, sure, if it came in my STI, I would love it. Um, am I so bothered by the way the car is right now that I need to jump into the new one? No. The 2015 through 2017 STI, I think the quality of the interior is incredible i mean coming from the previous generation huge 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 step up you have this amazing flat bottom steering wheel great bolstering you have soft touch material everywhere in this car um much more than the last generation did um and the interior sound quality i mean i have the windows up right now i have a catback exhaust and all the noises around me cars driving by me i I honestly could whisper right now, see, like, and uh, you you can hear me, and I can hear myself, my passengers can hear me. It's not bothering, it's not, you know, intrusive. It's not intrusive, it's it's not bad. I, I have nothing to cl complain about, you know, especially since I bought an STI, I didn't, you know, buy a uh, you know, like high-end, you know, luxury, you know, sedan set that, you know, I wanna keep every bit of sound away from me, you know? It's, it was not one of my, um, it wasn't one of my criteria in, you know, picking this car. Um, so I personally have absolutely no problems with the interior quality. I love it. And to me that I, I immediately threw that portion out when I found out what they were doing with the interior. I honestly didn't really care for it. Don't care much for it. Um, cool idea, but um, people don't buy an STI for incredible luxury and, you know, uh, sound deadening and things like that you know instead of that i prefer that subaru take you know the you know funding and the money they spent in upgrading the in interior quality things like that into developing more performance parts you know um save that money throw it into the motor you know try to upgrade the power try to upgrade the powertrain i mean um, anything something you know that's that's really going to make me want you know like go you know gaga over the new sti models it's just i mean yeah um so we covered so let's see we covered the seats wheels uh brakes and the internal quality and the the uh quality of the uh cabin um 
the front fascia of the new STIs, hate it. I, I really hate it. Uh, it it just looks like there's way too much plastic on the front bumper. I it just it looks so cheap. I mean, if you're trying to like, what I don't understand is. Subaru's trying to upscale their their vehicle and to appeal to more people, and you know, for a forty thousand dollar car, almost forty thousand dollar car, um, you know, upgrading the interior quality, you know, sound ending, um, you know, better, you know, soft touch materials, things like that, and then you go ahead and add a ton of crappy, you know, plastic that's not even painted. Uh, why? What's the what's the point? You're gonna make the exterior of your car look ugly. Now, some people might love it. Again. I don't. I think I hate it. I actually, I really dislike it. Um, oh yeah, and um, on the subject of the front bumper, uh, Subaru has added ad adaptive uh, LED headlights on the front of the car. So basically, when you're going into a corner and you turn, and your headlights will move into the corner with you to give you better, uh, I guess, better lighting, better view, so you can see where you're going. Um, you know. So you can see ahead of your corner, you know, before you get there, I guess, you know. Um, it's a cool idea. Um, my uh, 2016 Legacy 3.6R that I had, uh, that I traded into this STI, that had it, and actually was pretty cool. Um, you really could see uh, and feel a difference. Um, so that that's a pretty cool idea. Won't make me want to get into the new STI, though. That's definitely not um, a... Uh, anything to get too excited about for an SDI. Um, and really, I, I can't really think of too much more that uh, they're changing on these new 2018 models, but I just don't see a reason to jump into a new model. Now, if you don't have an STI, um, or if you have a, uh, prior generation WRX or current generation WRX and you're looking to jump into an STI um, This might be a great opportunity. This might be um, Something that you'd really you know want to consider um, this could this would that would give me an incentive like Like if I didn't have this STI and I and this new 2018 model came out and I've always wanted an STI And I could afford one I would definitely jump into one um, I would definitely consider jumping into one at least. Um, yes, I would love to have uh, an upgraded motor, but I love the motor. I, I have no problems with it. I think it sounds great. It's got plenty of power um, for how I need it. Um, it, I mean, it's a great car. Um, if you really, you know, power is where you're at, what you want, um, I mean, more power, let's say, and an upgraded motor, then you're you're gonna have to wait. Um, Subaru has not really released official date as to when they're gonna be upgrading the powertrain of the new STI models. We've heard teasers here and there about you know getting the new FA20 uh, that they use in the JDM motors, um, but we haven't we haven't heard anything official yet. So I'm I'm not going to um, believe it or get too excited until I actually you know hear super release that information uh, at a conference or something yeah and also I actually heard some slight rumors about the possibility of the new uh, STI motor being tested in the new Subaru SUV that's coming out 2.4 liter four-cylinder turbocharged boxer motor and Rumor has it that Subaru is kind of testing the motor out in this new SUV when the SUV gets released to see, you know, what the, you know, capability is of the actual motor, if there's going to be potential, you know, if there's going to be issues and or anything like that. Um, and that potentially could be what's going into the new STI models here in the States. Uh, again, these are just like rumors that, you know, just came out um it could all just be crap <laughs> so we don't we don't really know but it's a cool thought um and if that is the case i'm kind of glad that they're testing it out on a non sti model um to get the kinks out prior to the prior to them putting it into the sti and then having sti owners you know that are going to really drive these cars hard um 
basically have to be the guinea pig and work out the kinks and, you know, then wait for Subaru to, you know, see, oh yeah, okay, so here are the problems that the current owners have, let's, you know, change it in the new, in the, you know, two, three years later, you know, when they do a refresh. That's a cool idea. Um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm super happy with my car. I have no problems with it right now. Um, I think it looks great, it feels great, it handles awesome. Um, like, I have no issues and I don't, I don't need to change into the 2018 SDI model because I'm not going to be seeing any significant changes between this model and the new model to want to, you know, get out of this car and get into the new one. Um, so, hope you found this uh, video interesting, helpful, uh, if you're thinking about getting into the new 2018 STI models. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, if you think, you know, you agree with me or if you disagree with me, like, hey, no, the new models are way better than yours. But, um, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.